Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider pre-build for the dev channel, which is the build 26120.2200. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider pre-build for the dev channel. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in this build, we're getting the Windows Studio effects, which delivers a based camera and audio enhancements on device equipped with a neural processing unit and PU and can now access the studio effects in the quick settings from the system tray. We're also going to see a screenshot that was provided by Phantom of Earth on Twitter so thanks to him for that. Basically now an icon will appear in the system tray when using any application with a studio effects enabled camera. You can simply click on the icon to launch the studio effects page in quick settings. Additionally hovering over the icon will display a tooltip indicating which application is utilizing the camera. And also an information provided by Phantom Motion 3 is that the UI is a bit different, has received a few changes in Windows 11 24H2. So this is slowly rolling out in the dev channel. Related to dynamic lighting, when no compatible devices are attached, the dynamic lighting settings page will now show a placeholder message and brightness and effects controls are disabled. Also, in the settings page, Microsoft have added forward, backward, outward, and inward direction options to the wave effect, and also the forward direction option to the gradient effect. Talking about a few fixes in this build, first of all, related to the start menu, Microsoft fixed an issue where if you click or tapped on a letter on the start menus all apps list if you have them categorized alphabetical it would have crashed and it would have broke but right now that is fixed also related to the taskbar marks off fiction issue where explorer exe was crashing for some insiders when hovering over certain open apps in the taskbar related to the settings app marks off fiction issue where there was a blank entry in the privacy and security section also clicking on it it would crash settings related to input updated the mouse option show location of the pointer when i press the control key so that the circles displayed are now deep DPI aware and aren't really small on high DPI monitors. We also have a few general fixes, for example, Microsoft fixed the SFC scan now and also a stop error that occurred during shutdown was fixed. And we also have two new known issues. In the start menu, you may see there is an unexpected amount of spacing between items in the start menu's apps list. And also, related to the dev drive, Microsoft is working on the fix for an underlying issue leading to the dev drives potentially not being accessible within the Windows of system for Linux. So basically, this is all there is to it in the latest dev channel build. If you want to learn more info about it, you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.